first time I came, it was with my dad, was a film producer. So I think I was 17 years old. So now I'm a grandma. So imagine I come from everything. And uh, I think it's fantastic that the people still here come and uh, hope they're going to bid for the charity and get money. And uh, I try this time to explain to the young generation that uh, it is not something for the past. You know, you see the existing and they have to pay attention. You can come back, you know. And the young generation didn't pay attention, so they have to know. So it's what we try to extend them tonight. It was a big surprise, but I'm very, very happy. It's custom, they added the sleeves in for me, and you know, I just, I love Valentino so much. Let me know the jewelry part. See you soon, Fashion TV. I'm wearing Miglair, and we're here at Amphar, very excited because the show today is gonna be the first thing. So it's gonna be very soon. I'm very excited about that. I know it's like big brands and it's only 18 girls that are walking. So I have one dress and I'm wearing Moschino. That's the most I can tell you. <laughs> I'm Emma Thien, Marchioness of Bath. I'm here, I'm an ambassador for Chopard, and I'm wearing a Tony Ward for sure. How long did it take you to prepare tonight? Oh, one hour and a half. Something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I add some uh, some hairs, and uh, no, it was easy, quite easy. I am very good, thank you. I haven't been to Amphara in a while, so it's nice to be here tonight. It's yes, yes, absolutely, and it's always such a good vibe, good energy, and of course the course is so fantastic, and that's what got me to come to Nice. For me, Amphar is really an uh, event where all the best people from the industry here, they really understand the problem and they really want to help. And I think it's really great that so many people inspired by the same goal. It definitely will be reached. <laughs> nights in a row so you know it takes extra time to get ready so lots of layers and layers of foundation a lot of powder a lot of sparkle a lot of glitter a lot of lashes so that you look a little bit less tired than you really are <laughs>
happy to be here. It's wonderful, a lot of stars, the weather is beautiful and uh, the setting, amazing. Uh, what are you wearing tonight? What are you expecting from this evening and how was the film festival so far? I'm wearing Oscar Chiré. It's an Italian designer from Milano. Film festival was amazing. I saw the Contest uh, du Barry, which is absolutely amazing. Johnny Deep is wonderful. And my van, who realized the movie, did an amazing job. I just took a small suitcase and I just spent two days in Cannes and then I went back to Monaco and came back for tonight. So that's easy because Monaco can very easy to go. The profession is a, a way to express our identity, how we feel and uh, so it's, yeah, it's part of every day of course. <laughs> what is for you personally the more beautiful side of life? Hmm. Love and all the expressions of love. Uh, caring for each other, uh, protecting nature. Uh, there are many different uh, helping charity events. There are many ways to to love. I love the Cannes Film Festival. It's always so good to be here, and um, I'm glad that you liked my um, style and my uh, looks. And um, yeah, I love dressing up. I love fashion. So I think it's like the perfect platform to showcase all the beautiful dresses, the latest designs, and of course, uh, it's always beautiful to be here in camp. I started my makeup and hair from 2 o'clock today, and I was ready by 5, so good couple hours. Any advice for all the girls watching, admiring you? Uh, do you ever eat chocolate? How do you stay fit? How do you stay so beautiful? Well, I work out, I do maintain um, my body by working out and a good uh, diet, but I, I, I do balance it out. Like today I had ice cream. <laughs> Actually I had ice cream the last few days and I love it. <laughs> but yeah, I do work out and uh, I walk a lot. I do like 10K steps every day. It is an important evening. I've donated a dress for the auction tonight and I'm here to celebrate the, the cause, celebrate Corrine and her amazing show she puts on every year and to hopefully bring attention to a cause that still needs a lot of attention. Well, this, yes, this is the thing. We, we, you know, as 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 you know, filmmakers, we ne we rarely have that immediate communication with our audience as we do on the stage, and so it, it was it was exactly that. It you know that face that space was filled with uh, the symbiotic re relationship between all of us that was so that was really. Um, really gratifying and, and I'm telling you I've, I've, I've been doing this for uh, you know since last Tuesday this type of work and uh, I've never experienced it before. <laughs> How important is fashion in your life? Do you watch fashion TV? How does your day look like? I watch fashion TV if I have time to watch TV normally I don't but I do love it and fashion for me is inspiration it's connection it's everything it brings people together from everywhere in the world it's a super powerful language that everyone understands. For me, it's the most beautiful form of art. How was your film festival week so far? Good, but I'm also a little bit tired. And after this night, I will not go home, but when I'm home, I will sleep a lot. After the film festival, I guess Grand Prix in Monaco, right? Yeah, but I'm going to Portofino for work. I'm not a big carpet. I prefer fashion. <laughs>